Imagine it's 2100. You're 150 years old celebrating with your great granddaughter. Yet look and feel not a day over 40. Your mind is sharper than ever. Ma'am, it says here you were born in 1908. That makes you 45 years old. That's right. Cancer and hereditary diseases have been edited out of your DNA. Death isn't knocking at your door anymore and you can decide when or if it comes. This sounds like science fiction, but the tools to make it real, CRISPR gene editing, advanced AI, brain-computer interfaces, and even mind uploading are already being built. You'll discover how AI and CRISPR are merging to redesign human biology and how this could lead to radical lifespan extension, biological upgrades, and a future where death itself is optional. Today we stand on the edge of a transformation that could redefine what it means to be human. But is this humanity's greatest dream or its most dangerous nightmare? Who are you? I'm Mr. Nobody, a man who doesn't exist. We'll explore myth, medicine, CRISPR, AI, brain-machine merging, social upheaval, and even the meaning of consciousness itself. But could technology really make aging optional? The answer is more shocking than you think, and we'll reveal it later. And do not forget to grab the guide that could change your life with AI. Part 1. Myth, Medicine and CRISPR Humans have hunted eternal life since antiquity, from Gilgamesh's quest for immortality to the Fountain of Youth to alchemists chasing a philosopher's stone. For centuries, immortality was myth and hope. In recent decades, something fundamental has shifted. We move from philosophy to engineering. Scientists now ask if aging itself is a disease. Geneticist George Church from Harvard Medical School put it bluntly that aging is a disease and diseases can be cured. Not slowed, not managed, cured. And the tools to do it they're already here, see CRISPR. This gene editing tool is often called genetic scissors, a revolutionary technology that lets scientists precisely modify DNA. Nobel laureate Jennifer Doudna calls CRISPR a revolutionary tool that allows scientists to cut and paste DNA with unprecedented precision. It's like installing an editor in our genome where you find a typo, a disease gene, and fix it. The real world results are astonishing. In one recent trial, researchers edited a patient's immune cells using CRISPR to knock out a gene called CISH. That patient's metastatic gastrointestinal cancer went into complete remission, meaning tumors vanished and have not returned after two years. These successes aren't rare. Over 250 CRISPR-based trials are active around the world as of 2025, fighting cancers, blood disorders, and rare genetic diseases. What if CRISPR moves beyond curing diseases to enhancing humans? What if we could edit ourselves to be smarter, stronger, more resilient? And these tools aren't just for curing illness. Billions of people are suffering and dying. What are the moral considerations of that? This is illegal. We can go to jail for this. Human cloning is illegal. This won't be human. Not entirely. Scientists are already tackling the core mechanisms of aging itself. Your DNA's telomeres, the chromosome caps that shorten each division, and epigenetic markers both drive aging. In mice, gene therapies have lengthened telomeres and reversed epigenetic aging, effectively turning back their biological clocks. The question isn't if we'll apply this to humans, but when and who decides the rules. Part two, AI as the ultimate accelerator. While CRISPR is the surgeon's scalpel for our bodies, artificial intelligence is the hypercharged engine supercharging medical discovery. AI can analyze vast genomic data sets, design new drugs, and personalize treatments in months instead of years. For example, UK biotech Excientia used its AI platform to cut the typical drug discovery timeline from about 4.5 years to just 12 to 15 months. One of those compounds is DSP0038, an Alzheimer's psychosis drug, which entered human trials barely a year after design. AI is dramatically raising success odds early on. Consider in Silico Medicine's achievement, it designed the first fully AI-generated drug candidate to reach phase two trials. Broadly, a 2024 analysis found AI-designed molecules pass phase one, safety testing 80 to 90% of the time, a far higher figure and the around 40 to 65% success rate of traditional drugs. In other words, AI helps pick winners much earlier, saving time and lives. 
AI also creates Digital Twins, a virtual patient built from real data to simulate trials. These models can drastically cut trial sizes and speed up development. For example, one study showed that adding digital twins to a phase 3 trial could shrink its control arm by up to 33%, cutting months off enrolment. Faster trials mean therapies get to patients sooner. Together, AI and CRISPR form a powerful combo, tailor-made gene fixes guided by precise data. But first, remember the guide we promised? We are offering our subscribers a detailed PDF that will educate you on different LLMs and their use cases. Drop your email using the form at the top of the description to get the PDF for free. You will also get free bonuses, tools and tricks to educate and train you about AI and its future. So people of our community are not the AI victims. Now they are also tackling like aging too. And if you are someone like me that often thinks that, could aging really become optional? Yes. With AI-driven personalization mapping your unique biology and CRISPR rewriting your genetic vulnerabilities, aging could shift from inevitable to elective. We're not talking about adding a few years to life. We're talking about fundamentally altering the human lifespan. Part three, merging minds, brain-computer interfaces. If CRISPR upgrades our bodies, brain-computer interfaces is upgrade our minds. Cutting-edge implants from companies like Neuralink and Synchron are already restoring lost abilities. In 2024, Neuralink began human trials in which a completely paralyzed patient has played video games, moved a cursor, and even browsed the internet using only his thoughts. I love playing chess, and so this is one of the things that y'all have enabled me to do, something that I wasn't able to really do much the last few years, especially not like this. Another ongoing study aims to translate imagined speech directly into text. These demonstrations hint at a future where chips could cure paralysis, blindness or deafness. Researchers envision enhancements too, memory offloading to the cloud, telepathic thought sharing or cognitive boosts via neural stimulation. Picture your thoughts flowing across a neural cloud instantly shared with minds thousands of miles away. For example, some researchers like Dr. Miguel Nicolelis at Duke University believe we're only a few years away from rudimentary brain-to-brain -brain interfaces. In this vision, CRISPR might also enhance our minds, engineering stronger memory, faster learning, or greater empathy. So yes, CRISPR could enhance humans, not just curing disease, but upgrading intelligence, memory, even empathy. We could engineer ourselves to be stronger, smarter, and more connected than evolution ever intended. This brings us to a wild possibility. What if the true path to immortality isn't fixing the body at all, but leaving it behind? Three, two, one, upload. Hello, Nathan. 10 fingers and toes? Pretty seamless. This is the first day of the rest of your afterlife. Futurists speak of uploading consciousness, copying your mind into software or a virtual world. The radical idea of leaving the body behind or digital immortality doesn't just raise technical challenges. It forces us to confront what it means to be human, what it means to be you. And if we get it wrong, we might create a hell of eternal consciousness trapped in code. As we gain the ability to enhance minds and bodies, the excitement of possibility comes with pressing questions. Who will control these upgrades and what societal shifts might they trigger? Part four, promises, perils, and ethics. The promises of the human upgrade are breathtaking. Imagine no genetic disease, routine centennial health, intellect and senses beyond nature's limits. Already, tech billionaires fund cryonics and mind upload startups, betting on a form of digital afterlife. In 2021, the Amazon founder reportedly made a significant investment in a company called Altos Labs, a biotechnology company that claims to specialize in cellular rejuvenation therapy that says it aims to restore cell health and resilience to reverse disease, injury, and disabilities that occur throughout life. But the perils are just as great. Who will get these upgrades? Today, the wealthiest already live years longer than the poorest. Cutting-edge lifespan technologies could widen that gap into an abyss. If immortality costs millions, we risk a society of immortality haves versus mortality have-nots. Overpopulation and resource strain would grow dramatically if life expectancies double without careful planning. Economic and social inequalities could skyrocket. The ethical line blurs at conception. Designer babies are already a debate. 
after the 2018 scandal of China's CRISPR-edited infants, we saw how quickly eugenic impulses can spiral. He Jianghui stunned the scientific community with the claim he pushed the boundary no one else had. A line has been crossed that should not have been crossed. It's very disturbing. It's inappropriate. Oh, this is huge. He says he genetically edited human embryos, not just for research but for implantation, leading to the world's first births of genetically altered humans, baby girls born in China from embryos designed to be resistant to HIV. Without careful rules, parents might pick traits beyond disease, from eye color to intelligence, echoing the worst of eugenics. Genetics. What can it mean? The ability to perfect the physical and mental characteristics of every unborn child. As one analyst phrased it, the hidden danger of curing aging isn't just biological, it's the social upheaval. We could face new classes of genetically superior humans and castes of the rest. If consciousness can be uploaded to code, what does it mean to be you? Are you that endless software copy or is it an artificial spirit trapped in a machine? If we get this wrong, we might unleash eternal mind hell instead of heaven. Part 5. Philosophy and You, the final upgrade. We've come a long way from alchemists and philosophers. Now we're not just passengers on evolution's ride, we're at the wheel. We must decide if 200 year lifespans, designer genomes or digital minds are our future. If your child could be born free of all disease, should you choose that? These questions are profound. They're about our very identity and values, not just science. Facing the human upgrade. The future of humanity is no longer a distant vision. It's being engineered in labs today. CRISPR, AI and BCIS are converging to offer radical lifespan extension, enhanced cognition and even the possibility of digital immortality. Yet these innovations come with profound responsibility, ethical oversight, societal equity, and careful consideration of what it truly means to be human. We must navigate biological possibility, social consequences, and philosophical implications simultaneously. Ultimately, the human upgrade is a choice, one that could define the next stage of evolution. You're not just an observer, you're a participant in shaping humanity's trajectory. The question is no longer can we, but should we? Take this moment to reflect, what will you choose? What kind of future do you want to inherit and create? If you enjoyed this deep dive into our possible future, like and subscribe for more explorations of cutting edge science. Share this video with friends to spark the conversation. And don't forget to grab the free PDF guide from link below on AI tools and their future. Stay ahead of the curve in this human upgrade era.